Here we have a 2006 BMW 320 petrol in grey. Um, the car is definitely showing signs of age, as you'll see in the video. Starting with the offside front tyre. Uh, tread wise, you've got a good amount of tread there. I'd say at least 5mm of tread. Looking at the front alloy, uh, we do have some kerb marks and some scuffs. Uh, nothing major at all. Um, kerb wise, uh, you've got a lot of scratches to the alloy itself, as you can see. But um, could most probably do with a refurb. I think that down the offside of the vehicle, no signs of any dents or any dings at all. But you do get a lot of bodywork scratches to the vehicle. Um, around the majority of the paintwork, there's some scratches. Most of them are light. Uh, the car just needs a good mop, to be honest. It just needs a full mop. Um, but there is a lot of scratches to the car. As you can tell, um, we've got some car park chips to the driver's door as well. Um, but as we make our way down to the back, it's just a lot of scratches, so just be aware that the car needs a full mop. Um, but as you can see, there's scratches marks all over the vehicle. Most of them are light, so should polish out to be honest. There you go, if you have a look at the offside rear tyre. And you've got a good 6mm of tread there. And looking at the rear alloy, again we have got some curb marks on the top bit of the alloy. But again, some curbing and scratches all the way around the alloy, so it could probably most do with a, a refurb as well. And then making our way around to the back, again, same story, light scratches all over the vehicle. And taking a look at the back, um, scratches to the top of the uh, the bonnet, not the bonnet, sorry, the uh, boot. No signs of any dents or any major damage at all. Uh, it has got the rear parking sensors, but again, you've got some scuffs here on the offside rear quarter. There's scratches all the way along the boot lid here. And again, just scratches around the paintwork. Take a look in the boots. Of course, I think it's on run flat, so there's no spare wheel. Um, bit dirty in the back, to be honest. So this is coming loose a bit. Uh, but nothing in the back there either. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. We've got near side rear tyre. And again, you've got a good 6mm of tread there. Look at the rear alloy, you've got some heavy chips in the alloy there. And some light curb marks around the majority of the alloy. Some a bit heavier than others. And take a look down the near side. Again, no signs of any dents or any dings at all. A um, lot of light, big scratches to the near side rear quarter here. Making our way down the car, again scratches around the majority of the paintwork. And a lot of head scratches you can see there, brushing down the side of the front door. And they lead all the way down to the front arch. Taking the near side front, and you've got around 3mm of tread there. And again, some heavy curbing to the alloy on the front, so uh, to, uh, definitely need a refurb. And then looking at the front here, on this near side front corner, you've got a very good scuff there. This is quite heavy here, so it's something to be aware of. You've got a good scuff there to the corner, and a lot of light scratches again to the paintwork. Um, some couple of stone chips, they're too quite heavy actually. Um, but not that many to be honest on the bonnet, it's only a one or two stone chips. And again looking at the front, no signs of any damage at all. Long scratch there on the, the offside front and again on the arch there. You got some marks there to the light, headlight. Um, doesn't look like moisture I don't think, slight little crack. There you go, if you take a look inside the car.
And again, very dirty in the inside to be honest. Um, as you can probably tell from the video. Uh, marks on the seat. Um, leather's in good condition. No signs of any damage at all. Um, just a lot of marks on the leather itself. Uh, just needs a real good valet to be honest. Um, there we go. If you take a look in the front. And the same with the driver's seat. A lot of wear in here to the holster. Um, no signs of any damage at all that I can see of. But again, it's very dirty. The interior of the car, a lot of marks and uh, scratches. That's the same with the rest of the interior, to be honest. Um, I've got some marks to the leather there on the front passenger. Uh, I don't know if they would fetch out or not, they should do. But again, just a lot of marks inside. There we go, if we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage. Do get two sets of keys with the car. And if we get it started up, there you go, it's popped up telling me I need a service. And we've also got a warning light on there as well. And then taking a look at the mileage, we've got 77,933 miles on the clock. Mud function steering wheel here, and all the buttons function very well. Standard BMW setup with your radio and your CD. And once tuned in properly, that works perfectly fine as well. You've also got your heating here as well. Put that on full. All the blowers are blowing perfectly fine as well, so that's great. Manual transmission. Take a quick look at the documents. The car's had three owners. Take a look at the MOT certificate. December 23rd, 2013, so MOT till late this year. And then looking at the service history, we do have full non-franchise service history. Feel free to pause any time to have a better look. First one there at 16, second at 30,000 30, I think that is. Third at 44, you're at 58, and your last one there at 72,000, so just over 5,000 miles ago. There we go guys, that is the uh, 2000 and 2006 BMW 320 petrol um, could do with a lot of work to it, a good full bodywork mop but it should be looking okay after